I'm in. And in this video, we're going to show you how to turn this into this. What's up, YouTube? I'm Andy. I'm Deb. And we're the father and son duo that love making secret stash furniture out of your local lumber yard. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a 2x4 that we cut and glued together and we're going to turn it into a bandsaw box. Lots of videos out there on bandsaw boxes um, and this one here will eventually, I'll show you how I, I make a secret compartment in it. And uh, to begin, um, I can build this whole project without a ruler really. And um, I just estimate and kind of make it as simple as possible. Um, and what I need to do first is when, I, when I do this is decide what is going to be the front and the back of this. Some people like this beat up rough spot. This got a little gouge here. Um, I'm going to make that my back. But the first thing I need to do is um, estimate a quarter inch for the back. You want at least a quarter inch. So what I do is estimate it and go right across the back like that. And then the front, I can come in here and start to design um, uh, my drawers. All right, on your front, you're gonna want at least 3 8 to a half inch uh, border all the way around. So I'm gonna go around and, and put a 3 8 border around. Okay, now, now that you got your border in, um, now I'm, <clears throat> I'm gonna make my bigger drawer on this side. And here we got this roll of tape. This roll of tape is going to give me my circular drawer. I'm going to make this drawer about that big. Okay. So it gives that, that appearance there. Okay. Now I can come over here. I could use the same thing, but I'm going to go find something else that's laying around that would be good to use this. Okay, now I'm going to do my other drawers. I'm going to leave myself about three quarters to maybe an inch between the drawers. I could probably go tighter, but what I want to do is I'm going to round, round this around like that and go in these corners like that. And then I'll come back and, and connect it with a ruler. All right, so now I'm headed over to the bandsaw and I'm going to cut the back off and then I'll show you how I cut the drawers up. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come in the bottom, um, here's my top, and I'm gonna come in my bottom and cut around. And you only wanna cut in here, and then I'm gonna come in here, cut this out, get that out of the way, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in and cut uh, across and come in. And I'll show you how I hide that, that cut later. All right, so I got, I got the big drawer cut, all right? First thing I want to do is mark top, front, okay? And I can do top, back, here, all right? Um, that's really important. Okay, because you're going to get a lot of pieces and it's easy to get confused. Alright, so the next step in the process is we're going to be taking this back that Dad had chopped off earlier and we're going to be gluing it right back on there like that. Um, and then we're also going to be getting glue in these little cuts that dad had made. I don't know if you can see any of those, um, but the cuts where dad had come in with the bandsaw, we gotta glue those back together so they're not bowing out. Let's go. Any tool will work if, you can, if it does the job. How fresh are those blue wipers? I wonder if they have factory jobs. Just yeah. wiping glue. <laughs> like, and they paid me like $40 an hour to wipe glue. I mean, <laughs> a blind man would do it.
All right, so next up, now that we got this thing clamped uh, and drying, we're gonna go and cut the grooves out for our drawer. These are gonna be the same, just gonna be a normal groove cut along here uh, for whatever you want inside of it. This one, however, it's gonna have a drawer, just a normal depth uh, cavity here like the other ones, but in the back, Dad's gonna cut out a small little secret compartment that you won't be able to see unless you take the whole drawer out. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, um, the next thing is, okay, I marked top front, top back, okay? And I have to cut the front off, and, and in order to get this secret compartment, I cut the front off, and then I, what I do is I come in and I cut out my secret compartment, okay? And then I pull that out, and then I cut off my back, okay? So that's what I'm gonna try doing right now. All right, so this is the front of my drawer, and this is the back of my drawer, okay? Um, again, marking things really will, will make it easier on you. So now, again, the same, same concept, I need to cut off my front and back first. All right, that's the hardest part, is cutting out this piece. All right, now we can we can go and, now we got a lot of pieces sitting here. Um, so we're going to have to make some adjustments. Okay. All this can get glued together and we got our little hiding spot coming together. All right, so now that we got all of our uh, pieces cut, we're just gonna glue all these little side pieces back onto the drawers. Okay, let's go. All right, so now that we got all of our stuff uh, glued and clamped here, I don't know if you can see all this, but we got them all down here clamped. We're gonna wait for them to dry. In the meantime, we're gonna chop up this little dowel. Uh, we're gonna make the handles eh, about maybe one inch. Uh, we're just gonna chop off little sections and then we'll get ready to glue those onto the um, drawers. drawers. Now that everything's dried, um, we want to make sure that the drawers fit. Uh, these two drawers fit nicely. They'll go in and out. Don't have to do much sanding with that, okay? We want to get these drawers down flat, and then we're going to sand the front of this on a belt sander. Um, I also have our secret compartment one, so what we're going to do is have to lightly sand this. So that'll go in there nicely. That's what we're going to go do. Take our wood burner and go. 
go along those lines. Yeah. So that's what we're doing next. And just like in our last video, it's torch time. There you have it guys, um, this is just a really simple secret bandsaw box that you can build uh, in your spare time. We, all we did is basically stack three 2x4s three on top of each other, glue this, them together. This one is two, this one back here was three. Yeah, this is, this is the one that uh, you saw us building. This is the one my dad made a while ago for my little brother. He got a bunch of crap in the one, didn't have anything in there. Uh, as you can see, uh, this has some flocking in it. So you could flock the inside of it if you we, wanted to put something we, valuable in there. We're waiting for the the handles to dry on this one, so we wanted to show you this one that was completed, that simmer. Yep, so they're basically the same exact thing, that one's just wet. So, um, thanks for watching guys. Um, if you have any like future projects that you think would, it would be fun to, for you to watch us build, uh, just let us know in the comment section, we really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Thanks.